right, guys, we are back for another. <laughs> yeah! Toku Sentai! Alright, so we got the LR Ginyu Force here. Um, we're, of course, gonna rainbow them. This is the level 10 link rainbow video. Um, oh my god, what a shock. Yeah, we're going full dodge. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Um, I don't know if I really want to spend too much time talking about this. I know some of y'all go, <laughs> crazy from. Wait, what? Oh, right here. But I know some of you will go, oh my god, yeah, that's hilarious coming for you. <laughs> um, this is a support character. The strongest thing that this character is doing for the team is support. Uh, we really just want to keep them alive, keep them afloat. Um, you know, them getting an additional super is not winning us the fight. Them critting is not winning us the fight. But, you know, cutting down in the amount of damage we could take from Blue Gogeta, Cell Max is a big one. You know, these types of bosses will help us a lot. Uh, this character is very good. Um, I mean, if you want to go crits, I, I think that's just insane on this character. Absolutely nuts. Uh, they do have built-in super effective against all types, which for sure is not nearly as good as crit. But they do also have 35% crit if you run them on a full special pose team, which you need to do in order to see this character's true power with their active skill anyway. So crits is out the window. Um, raw defensive equips, I suppose, could be solid. Um, you know, because they do have guard, they do have some damage reduction there. Raw attack, no, definitely no, no, no. Um, additionals, I mean, the normal, no matter what, the 12 key super will give you 50% defense. So there's that. Um, it does also have a guaranteed stun. It's a one turn stun, but I mean, maybe if we're thinking about Super Battle Road or maybe Battlefield or something, that could be good. But I, you know, you don't want to be building your character like this new style of LR for battlefield or super battle road i don't think so I, th this seems like a pretty obvious dodge character um you know again I, I, it sucks but i mean people are very anti-touch whatever and, all right anyway let's go uh so remember we need to run them on a full special pose team so they're pretty much kind of restricted to god topo's team let's jump in um i think we'll probably just start with evolution blue vegeta fight that we did earlier we'll kind of see how things go um i agl ginyu is really unrunnable i'm probably gonna do without running him at, you know, we can get Jason Birder. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe we will run AJL Ginyu. Let's just see how it goes. All right, guys. We got a deja vu moment. Um, I probably shouldn't have brought AJL Ginyu, but I did. We'll see how it goes. All right. We got Topo. Um, I do like this special pose team. Um, I mean, just to sort of see what the LR Ginyu Force is capable of doing. Of course, I'm bringing uh, Jason Birder. We could probably get away with them on, you know, some of these tough fights, you know, try and keep them away from, like, way too big a harm's way. But, you know, they do have a lot of dodge, so they have at least a chance. Raccoon and Goldor are going to get crushed. Obviously, Ejil Ginyu is going to get crushed. Wow, dude, there's no way. In the 55% video, the first turn, Ejil Ginyu got killed in slot three. Tell me that's just going to happen exactly again. Normal. Okay, that's good. Sure. Another defensive stack next to Jason Birder. So <clears throat> he's going to be looking. Uh, super attack kills us, of course. Not bad. Oh, dude, I was scared. <laughs> The roses coming in at the end. I mean, that's just true showmanship right there. The goat, the goat force. Uh, damn. Okay, I do. Uh, the, I do want to run Ginyu in slot one. The only thing about it is, I will be so frustrated if this Vegeta seals us. But you know, it is what it is. We're gonna have to rock with it. Um, this is gonna be a major issue with the Ginyu Force right now. I mean, I should just quickly address this right here at the start of the video. Their link set is a Ginyu Force link set, and more specifically, a Captain Ginyu link set. But the entire Ginyu Force as a category is dead. Uh, there is actually one good character, and it's the new LR. Um, Jace and Birder are probably the only other runnable character. I mean, I think maybe we could, with supreme luck, we could get away with AJL Ginyu against Cell Max. Because he's got type advantage. I, I guess. I mean, could HL, can you work against Gogeta? 
he'd just be dodge or die and Goku Ginyu at the end. No, probably not. I. It's just, that, you know, these guys are just from a long time ago at this point. Um, but it's probably not a great idea to just drop this character by themselves. I mean, they will work very effectively on the Super Special Pose team. They're going to be good. But in terms of seeing, like, the true heights that this character can get, that's not something we're really going to be doing. Um, now, keep in mind with this character, too, you do want to avoid in orbs if you can. The best performance from this character we'll get is if we're able to get a rainbow orb and then a type orb of another typing, right? If we do that, then they're going to give special pose category allies other than this character 25% attack and defense for two turns. So we hit this right here, and then, you know, look at Gamma 1 and Topo stats right there. Let's just go ahead and hit that. Bam. And then now they're just buffed. And then our characters on the next turn are buffed. Oh, by the way, from their intro buff, they also give all allies 25% um, attack and defense for three turns. So now the entire team has an extra 25% attack and defensive buff for, for three turns. So very quickly, you could see how their effect on the team, like how good the LR Ginyu Force is, isn't even how much damage do they do or, oh, how well do they tank the super or did they dodge the super or stuff, stuff like that. Their effect is deeper because they're buffing every single character. Now, a big thing is that a lot of it is restricted to special pose. I, I mean, I, I just would not even recommend running this character ever um, unless you're on a full special pose team. It's it's just kind of how it's got to be. You know, it, 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 is, it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. All right, so let's see what happens. Uh, if Vegeta supers us and hits us, he will seal us. If we dodge the super, he obviously will not be able to seal us. Okay, here we go. So we'll find out instantly. Uh, we do get hit. 121 they take. Okay. That's with defensive support from Gamma 1. Uh, yeah, that does show that they do. I mean, they do kind of need to be dodged. Because this Vegeta, his damage isn't the craziest. So LR Ginyu right there. Um, is guarding, right? They're guarding because the whole rotation is special pose. Um, and then in slot one, uh, they have 35% damage reduction before attacking. So that damage Vegeta did was with us guarding and with us having damage reduction. So... Mm, I... Uh, I mean, that's... I mean, I could say, oh, well, that's them without the Ginyu Force links. And it's like, well, <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. I, oh, dude, Topo. Oh, shit. Like, I just see the other, but the other character's stats are so crazy. That's why, like, you know, when it comes to, like, doing a showcase for this character, it's not just, like, directly what they're doing. Now, ever what everyone is doing on this rotation, right? Like, this is um, the LR Ginyu Force's effect as well. Like, Topo is actually, like, going to be so unbelievably busted with the Ginyu Force around. It's going to be crazy. Topo is going to be so dumb. 14 right there. Okay, cool. Like, he... Dude, Topo is going to be really good. Um... Hmm. I... Yeah, the Ginyu Force, they're really good. The, the only... The, the things I'm thinking about, though, is that... I mean, there's no other Ginyu Force members. Again, they would... Like, if we had... Just a really strong slot two care. I'm not talking... They don't... They wouldn't need a character who could necessarily... Like, oh, we need them to tank blue Gogeta super attacks. That's not it. Like, if they could just tank all normals, a slot two character, Ginyu Force character could tank all normals, I'd be good with it. But my my only other concern, too, is we run the full special pose variant. Now, I'm not talking about this one. Oh, dude, Jesus, please, guys. Okay. Uh, I'm not talking about, you know, like, we're running a couple of these Ginyu Force characters, which could go bad. I'm not specifically talking about, like, you know, where we're running these Ginyu Force characters and things are just very scary. Um, I'm talking about, you know, like, even on a full special pose team, I'm not sure that that team would be better than a variant Atopos team in which we're running, you know, UI Goku, Evolution Blue Vegeta, you know, Physical Ribrian, LR Ribrian, STR Kefla. Like, that variant of Topos team would probably be better than just full special pose. I, I, I would think so. Um, remember that Gotenks, the, a lot of the Gotenks are certainly an option that we could run as well. Um, I see no reason right here not to just transform with uh, Goat Ginyu. Uh, we got to get him in, because my Ginyu, I do not have a full dodge build on him, on Ginyu. Um, I need to get him transformed into Goku Ginyu where he does begin to build up dodge. So let's just go ahead and do this right here. Well... 
I'll hold back on it because um, Captain Ginyu does support. So we'll be able to see extra stats from LR Ginyu, actually, if we don't do that. The problem is that's probably means we're going to die, but, you know, whatever. We're, 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 we're seeing what the character could do in a real fight. Uh, it is good that uh, the Ginyu Force, of course, is in slot one for a multitude of reasons, too. Um, number one uh, with them. Okay, so this is si We have six out of seven links activated right here, by the way. Six out of seven links are up. Um, we have... Uh, the only link we don't have activated right now is Legendary Power. Okay, there's that. Uh, so we got two super attacks. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Um, in slot one, uh, they... Well, okay. From their 18 key super attack effect, they get a 100% attack and defensive buff for one turn. And then they raise allies' attack and defense by 30% uh, for one turn. So, like, you know, by putting them in slot one... Dude, please super. Okay, cool. By putting them in slot one... We're going to get that extra support buff for the rest of the rotation. I think Ginyu probably should be okay against normals with all the support running. Yeah. Okay. Vegeta supered in slot three last turn, so I don't think he... Yeah, he's not dropping another one. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so next turn, we'll be able to pop the obscenely busted active skill for the LR Ginyu Force. So now their strength level is going to shoot way up um, with the, the really, really good active skill. Uh, we don't need to transform Topo right here. We don't need to. Uh, we are going to be transforming Ginyu next turn for sure. All right, let's hit that. Let's make sure we're under 70. It's 70 is, is his condition, right? Yeah, 70. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's hit that. Perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, 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 th so, th okay. Th this is looking good. Uh, we're going to see a huge stat increase from the LR Ginyu Force next turn. Because their active is one of the best in the game. They're going to get a permanent buff, and then they give even more permanent support to the rest of the team. More characters like this Ginyu Force, or designed similar to, similarly to this Ginyu Force, is going to be really good for the game. Like, a lot of weaker teams, like, you know, Special Post, something like that, would be massively buffed by support of this level, a character of this level. This is like mega juice turn for the Ginyu Force. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Ginyu in base. Yeah, th this is such a perfect turn for them. This is that we're gonna see them. Th this is like their best turn. So I I'm actually just gonna leave regular Ginyu in base here. Ew. I love that Ginyu's voice by Diavolo, man. <laughs> Please. That's so good. So good. All right. So, again, remember, we have six out of seven links activated. I mean, we're rainbowed. We have Ginyu support, Jason Birder support. We have the active up. Wow. Look at Ginyu is up to 755 already, huh? Ah, man. I mean, I, it's like, you know, if you get very lucky at the start of the fight... And things open up for you. I mean, Ginyu, with the LR Ginyu Force around, I mean, he can round into shape. I mean, remember, that active skill, again, gives the LR Ginyu Force a permanent 25% attack and defensive active skill buff. Monster stat buff. And then all the rest of the team gets 15% attack and defense. Huge permanent stats for the team, which is just ridiculously broken. Now, the condition is pretty tough, though. Because um, they have the nonsense of, you know, from first appearance bullshit. So it's not turn three. It's, you know, turn three from when they first show up. It's not turn five. It's turn five from when they first show up, right? So it's turn three from first appearance of the whole team is Ginyu Force, which is like, uh, you know, in Battlefield, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then turn five from first appearance of the entire team is Special Pose. So it's like, in truth, at, this character really is just restricted to the Tobo team, right? Um, all right, so let's go ahead and see. Again, this this should be them maxed out. We do want to make sure we avoid int orbs. You know, you want you need a rainbow orb because the rainbow orb gives you the special pose category support for two turns, 25% attack and defense. And then the type key sphere that's not an int key sphere gives them 50% stats. So now Ginyu's up to 800k on turn six, dude. That is pretty crazy. Again, I'm not going to transform 
um, because he's supporting right here. I want to keep his support up for the LR Ginyu Force. I hope LR Evolution Blue Vegeta does super us, uh, but we'll see. And we get up to 16 million is what they drop right here. This will be the highest attack set we'll see from them in the video. And then remember, more support. Now, EGL Ginyu stats are going to be even higher because of this. This is a guaranteed additional super. They permanently have that. Um, we got the gold, though, one, which is just 50% defense. Damn, are you really going to super Ginyu? Okay. Well, I mean, we saw their maxed out turn, so. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. He's not actually. Ginyu is, like, actually looking real respectable next to the LRG. I'm not going to lie. Like, Ginyu, like, you know, he's above a million defense already. Like, it's, it's pretty fast. Yeah, a lot of it is because of the LR Ginyu Force, but... Oh, come on! D dude! Stop it! Ridiculous, man. I mean, it's impossible for Ginyu to get... Yeah, we're not living that, man. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Are you shitting me, dude? Come on. What? Bro. <laughs> Vegeta today was dead set on showing EGL Ginyu's limitations, but... I mean, again, AGL Ginyu was over a million defense when, you know, he got killed right there. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Like, I, he would be able, like, a million defense plus type advantage. I mean, he would be hanging in there against STR Blue Gogeta. I'm just saying. I Is he runnable against STR Blue Gogeta? He might be. As long as we could hide him in the tech Gogeta phase. I think we could potentially get away with AGL Ginyu. I, I'll, I might try it. Uh, yeah, no, I got it. Thank you. We could... <laughs> All right, the game is just, like, mocking us now. Um, I'm going to come back. The we, We've seen, for the most part, what the LR Ginyu Force has to offer, but I haven't really talked much about the super attack mechanic yet. So let me apparently reset my game or something. Because, yeah, hello. Yeah, I got it. Like, um, you want to you wanna continue, please? All right, we'll come back in a second. All right, well, okay, so th so this is obviously the reason my game was h hanging up. Okay, that would be why. Sure, sure, I get it. All right, guys, uh, so we're here in another event. Uh, this is where we can talk about my confusion with the character's super attack mechanic. And I don't really get so much what they were going for. Um, because if we look at the team, right, so you're going to want to use this character on a full special pose team. That's just how you need to use the character. Because, like, you know, getting that active up... Oh, my God. All those extra... All that extra... Because here's the thing about Blue Gogeta, right? Which I would kind of pin as the standard, like, boss... Like, the strongest boss to kind of, like, compare to, right? Blue Gogeta does so much damage that it, it's, it's very difficult to survive... Unless you're, you know, under Beast Gohan's Umbrella or Evolution Blue Vegeta's Revive. You know, something along those lines. But Gogeta does have a weakness. And that's that he does not have a lot of tankiness. You can blow Gogeta away very fast. Now, oftentimes you do have to survive his super attack first. But you could kill him in one turn very easily. Um, Ginyu Force is going to help with that quite a bit. I mean, that active skill support buff across the entire team. I mean, that's going to go a long way towards killing Gogeta very fast. I mean, you know, it is a lot of times a meme where players will go, well, who cares about, you know, dodge? I'll go crit in addition. I'll kill the boss before they kill me. Except that doesn't actually happen because the boss usually supers in style one before you can attack, right? So, obviously. But Gogeta, you do actually, in fact, want to kill him before he kills you because he does so much damage. You can't really reasonably tank it a lot of the time. So, we're going to need to run this character on special pose, right? To take advantage of their kit of they they have a really good kit but again i don't understand what's up with this so they have the 12 key super the 15 key super and the 18 key super now if you get an additional it's always going to be the 12 key super which is going to default be goldo and then 50 percent chance it's going to be raccoon right so the 12 key super attack effect is very good 50 percent defense um and then a guaranteed one turn stun that's goldo and then if you get raccoon it's 50 percent attack defense for one turn and the guaranteed stun um, the 15 key super, you have, like, we have to end the turn at 15, 16, or 17 key, and then Jace will show up, and will greatly stack attack for the rest of the fight, and then if Birder shows up, 
will greatly stack attack and greatly stack defense for the rest of the fight. But we have to get 15, 16, or 17 key. Now, I mean, this is this is turn one. Look at our key. <laughs> right? Like, I, now I get it. Like, both Topos are support characters. That is true. But, I, I mean, these, these guys are like... The, I, mean, I mean, Topo is literally the leader of the team. Like, you're going to be running him. So, I, I just don't understand why they gave a mechanic to this character you can't take advantage of. I don't think we're going to see this 15 key super in the world tour, like, almost ever outside of, like, this video or the 55% video. I, like, if I can get it, we'll get it. We'll go for it. Because, I mean, you get a defensive stack for this character early on. That, that'll be huge. Especially once the active skill buff starts to come in and shit like that. Like, it's going to be massive. But, like, it's just not... It's not going to be easy to get that buff up, man. That's not an easy thing to do. So, that's a little unfortunate. Um, <clears throat> all right. So, remember, the 18 key, we, we've seen that a bunch of times. Then the 12 key super attack, um, you know, it's 50% chance of Goldo, 50% chance of Raccoon. And then the 15 key super is where we see Jace and Birder. Um, I just wanted to jump in and kind of display that I, I just don't really see where we're ever going to be getting this 15 key super. I, I feel like that stack, like, really would be meaningful. There's the stun right there. That's good to see. I, again, I feel like the stack would be very meaningful. Like, I I don't know. I I, 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 wish, I wish we could get the stack. Dude, I wish we could get the stack. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just get one more, you know, rotation of the Ginyu Supering. And then I'll have to not run a full special pose team. Because as part of their intro, if there's five special pose allies on the team, they get the permanent 150% stats, the permanent additional super, but then they get three key as well. So between their three key from their intro, their two key from their, uh, you know, start a turn buff... And then all the key they're going to get. Because remember, the thing about them, that the one link they are going to have active basically at all times on this team is the special pose link. Which is a three key, it's a three key link, dude. And, and we're always going to have that up, right? This one. Well, here, let's... Right here, this. The special pose. We're always... The whole team has it, man. We're always going to have that up. So, uh, again, I don't really know why they did this. It, it almost seems it seems very trolly, uh, <laughs> to be honest. I, uh, like, hello, I'd, I'd like to get the Jason Bird or Rock, Paper, Scissors animation, but uh, you can't really do that with their intro up. Uh, it seems odd. So, all right, we'll get this number right there. Um, and then let me come back. I'll just take out a bunch of the special pose characters, uh, and we'll go ahead and get the 15-key super attack animation in here as well. Alright guys, uh, so this time we do not have uh, the uh, intro up, right? We don't have five special pose characters on the team, so we'll be able to see what Ginyu's looking like. Are we able to get this and then still... So, 13, 14, 15. So I could hit this right here, bam. And this is the 15 key super right here, still, wa-bam. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, and we are going to be linked up with Ginyu, so we'll have a lot of links up and stuff like that. But our stats are going to be significantly downgraded now that we don't have the whatchamacallit up. Alright, so here we go. Yeah, 3 million. There's Birder. That's the good one. Uh, Birder coming out means we do get the 50% attack and defensive stack for the rest of the fight. But, I mean, you know, in order to do it, it was at the expense of the intro, which has the guaranteed additional super plus 150% stats. Which is quite a big deal. So, again, I don't know. Um, the, the, the LR Ginyu Force does seem very good. But I I do just have a few concerns. Um, I feel like I wish the character had a little bit more defense. I think if they were a bit more untouchable. I mean, I haven't taken them into Gogeta and Cell Max and stuff like that yet. I mean, they could definitely prove me wrong. We could see. Right? Like, we were able to make LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku work pretty easily and effectively in fights outside of Cell Max. But, I mean, Cell Max just is a fight not designed for him. That's not, if, if there's a fight specifically not designed for a character, it's not the biggest deal ever, right? Like, Android 21 was bad in Fusion Tomasu. Like, life goes on. She's still a good character, just not good for that one fight. Um, 
So, like, we definitely will be able to make the LR Ginyu first Force work. And I like their design, but at certainly... I think my biggest thing that I'm stuck up on in my head is that I feel like the other version of Topo's team will be better. That's the problem I have. Like, we can't run Evolution Blue Vegeta and UI Goku on the team, or else we can't do their active. And then, if we can't do their active, and then if UI and Vegeta are not getting their multiple turn support uh, from, you know, the Rainbow Key Sphere, which is special pose only, like, what's the point, right? Like, if we're going to use this character, we're going to use this character on a special pose team. So, I, it's just, uh, I, I, that's, that has me hung up. But, at the same time, we run this variant, just full special pose. And, I mean, Topo is going to be going crazy at the Ginyu Force. I mean, they're going to be doing a lot to help. Do we get the, J we get the Jace version. All right, cool. So, we've seen all the different super attacks in this video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I, in terms of, like, top 10 LRs in the game... I, I mean, almost certainly not. Let me see. I want to pull up one of my recent tier lists, and I guess we'll end with this. So, the last LR tier list I did was when STR Vegito and Buhan came out. Um, yeah, w w at this point, we've we've seen what we needed to see from the LR Ginyu Force and stuff like that. Uh, let's just go ahead and jump over to here. Okay. So here's where my tier list is. I, I okay, I, okay. I, I I would move some things around right here. I I mean people <laughs> will jump down my throat, but I probably would move the gammas up significantly. I would. I would. I'd move the gammas up quite a bit. Um, I probably move Buhan up. Buhan and the gammas go up. Uh, at maybe Broly goes up. Str Vegito goes down. Like like there there would definitely be a quite a, a bit of movement. In spots 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Like, I, I would rearrange these spots. This character, I'd probably keep at 10. I I mean, them. that's where the Ginyu... Like, if the Ginyu Force... If I think that they're good enough to be on here, that's where they would be, is 10. I, I would not put the Ginyu Force above any of these characters. This character has issues a lot. But I, I, I don't think I would put them... um Or the Ginyu Force above them. Orange Pickle, that you have to respect that giant form. Orange Pickle is still really good. I, he has a lot of deniers, but he's still a really good character. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that the LR Ginyu Force makes the top ten. I mean, a lot of times with yellow coin LRs, this is a thing that does tend to happen, right? Um, let me know what you guys think about the LR Ginyu Force, though. Um, I mean, they're certainly very good, and again, I, I can't hate the design we have here. I can't hate the fact that they are a direct buff for Topo. They are definitely Topo help. Like, I, just everything involved with this character coming out, I think, was done with, with the right intentions. Uh, maybe they could have been made a little bit stronger and things could have been better. Um, I think certainly in, like, a fight against, like, Blue Gogeta or, like, Movie Boss Rush or something like that, you know, if only we could get that 15-key super. I mean, I, I'll try my best, but that, that just seems um, not impossible to get but improbable to get uh, if you have the full special pose team. So let me know what you guys think of the LR Ginyu Force. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.